Right, good afternoon and welcome to uh, the Crossroads Troddler. This is what I'm going to call this uh, uh, adventures going forward, unless I can think of something better to call it. So my name's Tito and uh, I live in Crossroads and I'm going to use the uh, lockdown or the COVID-19 to sort of explore a little bit more around where I live. Uh, I haven't invested in a selfie stick yet, so this is probably not going to be uh, very good. But I'm going on a route that I've never, well the first half of it I've been on before, but um, the other bit, uh, there's bits of it that I haven't, so it'll be an interesting sort of circular walk from my home, and hopefully you'll find it enjoyable. But yep, I need to invest in a selfie stick and other things, you probably could pick up loads of road noise. But I promise you, uh, some of these walks uh, are out in the really wonderful countryside of where I live. So to give you an example, just give you a quick look at what used to be our cricket field. There we go. Not anymore, but who knows, maybe one day. But yeah, so uh, today we're going up, we're going what's known down Hardgate at the moment. And we're going up what is going to be Hardgate, it's deep cleft. And we're going to go up onto the, uh, onto the moor, I don't know whether it's quite Howarth Moor or Oxen Oak Moor or um, Cullingworth Moor, but it's one of them moors anyhow. And then we're going to drop down towards Cullingworth, we're going to sort of backtrack on ourselves and then we're going to follow the old uh, railway line from the Midland Railway or from the Northern Railway, I can't remember which railway it is, from one of the railways anyhow. Um, might be Great Northern I think. Um, line back back to Crossroads and probably come back up Laverack Lane. So I'll touch with, base with you in a bit. So I'm up above crossroads now, you're probably not going to be able to hear me very well because it's very very windy but just a quick flip round, see what I can, we'll see what I can see. That's what I'm looking at, fields and uh, uh, all across the valley towards Oakworth. So yeah, quite nice. And uh, yeah, part of the senior way of this, uh, so I don't know if you got that, with that car going past. Part of the senior way and a very nice journey so far. Right, uh, Still over Howarth Moor now, and uh, we just uh, I'll just come off the path for a little bit just to show you this. This is Gilson's Quarry. I don't think everybody can quite realise how big this is because uh, they can't see it from the road really. What the actual work is, it's quite a big site. Just gonna flip the camera around. Just bear with me one sec. Do uh, an idea what we're looking at here. You can see it's quite a big hole that they dug. So uh, I don't know how long they've got to quarry in that. Obviously, it looks like it's still probably quite a bit, but yeah, quite a big hole. Just thought I'd show you that. Right, we're now uh, we've just come past, uh, or I've just come past an uh, upward, uh, you can't see, can you, it's behind me. <laughs> uh, I've just come past upward uh, Caravan Park, um, very nice up here. I've not been on this walk for a long while, but uh, I think I've come once with Dave Thackeray, so let's just have a look, I'll give you a flip round. But yeah, it's quite a nice uh, 360 that. It's uh, been right a lot there, so pretty, pretty pleasant. But yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to walk down. Uh, Back over this moor up towards Cullingworth and drop down into Cullingworth and then I'll come back along, uh, like I say, along the railway line. But uh, yeah, very, very pleasant. Right, just another quick one. Uh, don't know if a lot of people remember this or not, but this is uh, what used to be at Flappy where that bike used to come. So it used to be a flat bike, but they're going to reopen it where they are, but I don't know if you can quite pick it up. So we should road back to where the floppy pub is. So yeah, so that used to be where all the motorbikes were, but uh, like I said, I think it's closed now. Right. This is floppy quarry from the other side, just thought I'd show you, even I'd forgotten how big a hole this was. But yeah, I think they're looking about starting to work it again, so I might explain why machinery's there, but yeah, looks quite uh, quite a big hole that. Right, we've just dropped a little bit of height and uh, I'm now uh, near the fields, you'll see behind me, the fields where the, the normally all the Bronte vintage gathering uh, near Cullingworth. Very, very pretty, uh, really, really uh, lucky to have access to this land and uh, some lovely GGs behind us there, some nice horses. So yeah, this uh, part of the walk's been really, really good and uh, a footpath, same again that I've never been on before, so a real, real find. Uh, it's a lovely little circular walk is this so far. Right, uh, nearly home now. Um, uh, yeah, this is the final sort of like uh, little clip I'm going to do before I call it a draw. So I'm just going to turn the camera around in a minute. We'll show you what is known as the pinfold or 
what we call in crossroads in Yorkshire, the pinnel, which is where they used to bring stray animals and get to come and claim them back and pay pay a fine or pay something anyhow. But uh, years ago, um, the house at the top of Bingley Road here uh, called Spring House, uh, a bloke called Mr Thompson was a truant officer for the school and uh, the village bonfire used to be lit here and he was a man who, who used to light it. But when you turn around and look at the view of Crossroads, uh, it's quite a fantastic view because there's a pinnel, there's a pinnel, but then as you turn around that Spring House, the big property there, you can just see the top of, I think it's Hollings Farm, you can see the Institute building, you can see the spire of the school. Uh, so yeah, um, so that's the end of the walk now. We've touched most of the scenery way, I think, uh, on that route, or certainly part of it, and it's been an absolutely fabulous walk. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, uh, also uh, the, the little bell, which will let you know next time I upload a video. Thank you.